Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of polycystic ovarian disease or known as PCOD. A young married female patient came with irregular menstruation and obesity. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the magnified image of the right ovary on transabdominal ultrasound. And you can see the ovary looks quite enlarged. We'll check the volume later. And if you check carefully, there are very tiny aniquic cystic spaces at the peripheral part of the ovary. These cystic spaces are well visualized when we are doing transvaginal sonography. But if you are doing transabdominal ultrasound, it may not be visualized well unless the ovary is hugely enlarged. Let's see the left one. This is the left ovary and you can see tiny follicles here also. The sharp margin of the follicle are well visualized. And this ovary is also enlarged. None of this ovary show any dominant follicle. Here's the picture of this right ovary on the left and left ovary on the right. There is no dominant follicle noted within the ovary. And you can see these tiny follicles at the peripheral part of the ovary. The volume measures around 10 cc on the right and 14.6 cc on the left which indicates bilateral ovarian enlargement. So this bilateral enlarged ovaries without any dominant follicle and multiple very tiny peripherally placed follicles suggest this case as a polycystic ovarian disease. So in summary, we have seen bilateral enlarged ovaries, multiple peripherally placed tiny follicles and no dominant follicles. This patient was recommended to go for the follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone correlation to confirm it as a case of polycystic ovarian disease. Now the take home message. I know you are trying to ask me some questions. Let's solve that. Remember that in transabdominal ultrasound, if you get any case of bilateral enlarged ovaries with absence of dominant follicle, try to consider polycystic ovarian disease first. This is a very common case in our community and in transabdominal ultrasound, you may not well visualize these tiny follicles, but bilateral enlarged ovary may help you to make a diagnosis. Unilateral enlargement is also seen in polycystic ovarian disease, but that is extremely rare. So try to stuck with bilateral enlarged ovaries point. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.